got this group. Help the rest of them. Come over or something. <clears throat> Should we be shooting this close to these things? Good question. In theory, we probably won't blow up. His belief could not save him from death. must go back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her? And Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Gamora! Is that...? Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, Flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, Rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo-priest nutjob is doing surprise nutjob stuff. 
If we go back there, we're dead. D-E-D! -E -D. Dead! Why are you good? I'd rather die with honor than without. <laughs> Who crawled up her butt and died? I am good. So, get the Flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to race. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay! We ain't restocking anytime soon! You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again... My family did not simply die. They were murdered. By Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. Watch it! Hey! Gamora! Go away, Peter. Oh, come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right. No talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, oh, oh. who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat, call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am the warrior. warrior. Well, I am the warrior. warrior, and heart to heart you <laughs> win. <laughs> See? Just singing. All right. I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there, with Nikki manipulating her with his slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think... We can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise? Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just... Try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Could you move? What is wrong with her? We have to go back. Sure, we're heroes, but there's a limit. One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel, but that's as close as I'm getting to this flarking cult ever again. Shoo, shoo, move over. What are you looking at? Oh no, you ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship. 
Shoo! Block off! Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. How about you, bud? You doing okay? <laughs> Are you sure? We saw some pretty messed up stuff in there. I am Groot. Yeah. Maybe I'm not the best person to discuss it with you. <laughs> you and Rocket should definitely talk about it, though. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are there for each other. Take care, buddy. I am Groot. Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Pyotr Quill. Cosmo's ball has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am Groot. are the cowards who defile Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. A uh, lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends a regard, so called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, we got this. Probably. <sighs> Lethal 
lame brain left. One is all we need. That don't even make sense. We just wasted a ton of you. Woo! <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? Feel free to show off, Quill. Peter, they insulted my I'm picking baby. up something. What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. So you defeated my fighters. But my cruiser will crush you. That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's well, I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked. Then do something about it. Bent. Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. Moron. Protect our points. This guy's starting to sound like rocket. It's called language efficiency, Quill. Lady Skull Suit has the worst block in timing. Is she here? Just her goons, this time. It's starting to feel like we pissed off the whole galaxy. Okay in there, Cap? Stay still and I'll show you. Oh, I'm cute. Yeah, I don't think these scrap sacks care if the galaxy's under sea. You know, contractors. We're contractors! Keep up the barrage. They will not survive it. Just kill them already! There's an art to this! Ha! Quill just tried to kill Splain to the deadliest woman in the galaxy! We really gotta take better care of the Milano! Ooh! Right up the exhaust board! <laughs> He's really pissing me off! How much these creeps are getting paid for killing us? Let me look up the contract real quick. Oh, 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 oh man, these guys are making jump things. Really? Oh. I am Glory, warrior. Of I doubt we've seen the last of her. We'll worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Yep. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open a channel, group. Let's see what's going on. I could not believe our supplies are low. Need access to facilities. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flarkin' deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. Welcome to Nova Corps Headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. How
How may we assist you? After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. Centurion Corel's personal communicator has either been destroyed or disabled and could not be reached. For what it's worth, I'm sorry, Quill. Me too. Just pick something, Peter. We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. Yes! <laughs> not today. Connected, Connected to banking services. Connected to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind. Long time no see. It's me. Peter Quill, Star-Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the promise is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mind has collected consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. <laughs> At least abomination sounds scary. Look, we just escaped the Church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. Th the point is, we've lived things. Experience things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is ill advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Zandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zandarian culture is a lost cause. Culture is more than a location. And yet, after the Shatari attack, you still build the new Xandar in the same system, knowing it wasn't safe. Where would you even go? Please understand that we are not able to disclose information of this nature to untrustworthy parties. Untrustworthy, my tale. And how long are you gonna hide from the church, huh? A millennia? Bolenia? As long as it takes. And if you try to come back, you'll be completely outnumbered. Zandarian culture will be preserved, but it'll never be safe again. Point, Point taken. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, we must leave. Why? For unknown reasons. The church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith. As an energy source is illogical. 
We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That is why they fail. Ha! Drax, he's as dumb as a stick, and he ain't failed so far. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Core? It... it is not magical. But yes. yes! Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The living computers of Xandar are, are the Nova Force. It exists because we exist, and we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Breaker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the Church does. Perhaps. You, you have, have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the Galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? I am Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. <sighs> All right, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end, and you spend our cash on a Nova Core fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. We gotta jump, Quill. I know. Drake's promise is becoming real. Peter? We gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! You do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The loser legion must have hit something when they ambushed them. I'm good. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Nice. And how are we gonna do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they right. find us, we're screwed. Freely accepted. Oh Ooh. yeah, and without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys! Enough! Just stop already! I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. No, I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. 
Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. I need some rest. Screw Noble Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. How's it looking? How does it look like it's looking? Well, I... Tension circuit melted through the stem bolts, reverse ratcheting routing planers out of alignment, can't even see the Flarkin sensor node behind the flux capacitor. Wait. Flux capacitors are real? What? No, I mean flow capacitor. Words get a little messed up when I'm tired. Hey, Groot, did you ever find the pack of slacking clamps I lost under your fern? I am Groot. I don't know, a fern-looking fern. I am Groot. Why would I check the leaf underside? Wait, that toothbrush was in Groot's mouth. Oh. More up. You all right in there? Look, we're all frustrated. We did what we could with the world mind, but they weren't even listening. It doesn't matter. They had their minds made up. They were being kind of scut. Mm-hmm. I mean, I did nothing wrong. I was just asking them to do their job. How about doing your job? My job? Have you seen the size of that church ship? What am I supposed to do? Guess you and the world mind aren't so different. What? Maybe it's because I had a tyrant for a dad, but I'm used to people in charge not being afraid to get scut done. The heck? Hey, Musclehead! Have you ever run that weapon system analysis you wanted to do? Come on, girl. Shoot, shoot. What the f... That's how you got in? Ugh. Screw it. And the bed smells. Great.
We have a ship. This is our room. Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Who? Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? How are you? Me. Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket. Yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? Uh, it's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. <sighs> this place is making me nervous. More nervous than when you yelled at me to go fix stuff? Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? <sighs> How long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship. There, let's go. Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Tell me twice! Uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother, the Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, not exactly, but, but, but not because I don't want to, it's just, I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need... Time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I 
am less certain of the others. The wooden one may have come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. He'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Hey, Drax. We can talk about this. Great. Oh, I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah, Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. The llama thing's been chewing through my wall. Cammy did? It has a name? Point is, maybe it's a way to get out. If I could just squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Are you inside of Drax? Not yet. Ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kratakan Matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well. Flark, Quill. It's about Kratak in time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend.
Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a flarkin' lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, this stuff is gross! Ah, uh, are you kidding me? Ah, wet fur is the worst! Rocket! You all right? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys, this is Lamentus, home of the priests of Canada. More religious nuts, hey. They aren't nuts. Pacifists. That's even worse. You saw them on nowhere? That's the last place I'd expect to see a priest. So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. What kind of job? It involved my sister and... Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. It's only part of an ocean. Uh... So don't fall, you won't get wet. Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? She will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. <laughs> Found Drax. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Cut him down! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No! She called me here! Men are lost! Rocket, a little help here! Uh. <laughs> Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. Or is it Omphad who teaches me later? Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> fine yeah. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. <laughs> Not in this time. Come on. The creepy cave's this way. The what now? The creepy cave, where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad, very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is, or was, or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotati take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Ooh. 
Uh, plant people like Groot, but uh, lame. The Kochati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like that. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just... in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always easier when you know things. Like... Whoa! This place is really unstable. Classy cave's gonna kill us all. Oh, no, not all of us. Not this time. Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning's actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate future. I have heard so many of his panic final gasps. Okay, let's not tell little Fuzzy that. <laughs> nice! Whatever you found in there, Quill, pretty sure it ain't worth getting drenched for. Drax better appreciate how dangerous this dumb plan is. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so... hi yeah! Giddy up! Crap! That was kind of close. That one sometimes gets the mora. I doubt it. You are sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. hi yeah! Giddy up! The headcase ain't even talking galactic anymore. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! I don't trust them not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, feeling lucky? Yo, this thing above me don't look too sturdy. Knock it loose and we got our bridge. Well, let's go. Still ignoring the bigger problem of not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Uh, Think of all the times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Scoff, he saved your butt. He drags a lot of heavy things around. And throw rocks. Seems to love throwing rocks. 